नमः परमऋषिभ्यो नमः परमऋषिभ्य हरि ओम अंतराय तिरोपात शातपावनमचित वैभव तन्नर वपुषि कुंजर मुखे मन्महे किमपि तुंदील गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्तिभेद विभागिने व्योमव्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम योत प्रवेश मम वाच मीमा प्रसुप्ता संजीवयतखिलशक्तिधर स्वधाशहस्तचरणश्रवणादी प्राणन्नमो भगवते पुषा तोभ्यं हरि ओ प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्ये महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायी अंबत्वासंदा भगवद्गीते भगवदीतेषिणी नमोस्तु ते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे फुल्लारविंदय तपत्र नेत्रया भारत तैलपूर्ण प्रज्वालि ज्ञानमय प्रदीप प्रपन्न पारिजाताय स्त्रोत्रेत्रैकपाणे ज्ञान मुद्रा कृष्णा गीतामृतदुहे नम सर्वोपनिषदो गावो दोग्धा गोपाल नंदन पार्थोवत्सुर्भोक्ता दुग्ध गीतामृत महत वसुदेव सुत कंस चाणूरमर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु मूक कौति वाचाल पंगु लंघयते गिरी यम वंदे परमानंदमाधव यं ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमुता स्तुन्वि दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायती यं साम ध्यानावस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्यती यं योगिनो विदुस्सुरासुरगणा देवाय तस्म नम पाथसारथिपेण श्रावय्वा शुभा गिर पाथ सै हरो दृपूर्ति सू न सत्यव्रत सत्यपर त्रिस्यम सत्य योनि निहित सत्य सत्य सत्यम ऋत सत्य सत्यात्मक शरण प्रपन्ना फॉर ऑल दिस सिक्स डेज वी हैव बीन लिसनिंग भगवद्गीता एंड इन भगवद्गीता नौ वी आर इन सांख्य योगम एनी वन कैन इन्फर दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कंप्लीट इट
we have just entered into that jnana yoga sankhya yoga there bhagwan has started giving the highest teaching to arjuna arjuna is only a nimitta just a cause through arjuna he is only a channel through which that celestial stream can come to us arjuna nimitti kritya upadidesha so it is a medicine for anyone who is afflicted by ignorance which is a cause which is the sole cause for all problem sufferings in the very beginning of gita bhagavan give a teaching that is an intelligent person will not come to sorrow and the second thing is for all the problems in life whether it is pleasure or pain or physical like cold and heat the only natural means that is provided to us is to patiently undergo endure it titiksha swabharata you have to bear it that titiksha must be cultivated as a tapas then just as we were speaking on viveka chudamani that you should have sadhana chatushte sampatti and then the teaching like that bhagavan first gave one qualification which includes everything that is titiksha first arjuna you learn to endure already he is a kshatriya so when kshatriya for a person who is a kshatriya his power to endure is much more than anyone else because when you are fighting a battle now it is my breakfast time let me stop after breakfast we will fight you cannot say and all the physical pain you know how to endure and here Arj- bhagavan adds as you are able to endure physical pain so to learn to endure the inner pain or pleasure also because arjuna everything that you feel that you perceive even that you think is agama payana it comes and goes and it is what comes and goes is asat i'm just recapitulating what we have spoken asat means that what which comes and goes यद विषया बुद्धि ही न व्यभिचरति तत्सत यद विषया बुद्धि ही व्यभिचरति तद असत दिस इज द डेफिनेशन व्हिच शंकराचार्य गिव्स एनीथिंग दैट कम्स एंड गोस चेंजेस अंडरगोस चेंज इज असत 
the experience of that which will never change we have explored it very deeply yesterday that which never changes is sat and tatva darshi an enlightened person a person who knows tatva he knows what is asat and what is sat tvam api tatva darshinam drishtim aashritya shokam moham cha ithitva शीतोष्णादीनि नियता नियत रूपाणि द्वंद्वानि विकारः अयम् असन्नेव मरीचि जलवद् मिथ्या अवभासते इति मनसि निश्चित्य तितिक्षस्वा सो हियर शंकराचार्य सेज दिस श्लोका इज आल्सो इट गिव्स यू हेल्प टू एंडवर because when anything happens in your life something very painful which can shake you to your roots anyone who lives at least up to 50 years will have some problems there is no one in the world after birth he had no problem no painful as incident in his life no one has been born if somebody should be like that he should die after the next moment after his birth then no problem so if you live something will happen some problem will appear some suffering some pain intolerable pain so how to take it how to endure it we have to ask the lord only power to endure it and bhagwan is giving you the power in this shloka he says whatever happens within you you keep this mantram asat anything that appears and goes is asat because some years before it was not some years after it will not be so now it appears it cannot be real a mayai hesha hesha maya eva bhagavatam there is one story about one king he came in angira sagotra he lost all his children chitraketu he had many wives but no children they did yaga as the result of yaga sage angiras came to his palace and blessed the king by giving him a fruit and told him you give this fruit to one of your queens and she will certainly have a child from that you will have joy and sorrow both you will have because you cannot have only joy from anything in this life so that fruit was given and this king gave that fruit to one of his queens there lies the problem <laughs> and that queen she became pregnant and she delivered a child a very beautiful boy and chitraketu was so attached to that child and that queen all other queens you know what will happen to them the fire started burning smoke started coming that envy jealousy they slowly made a plot 
they hatched a plot by which they can again win the king but that was very terrible they killed the child and this king was so many days he was in joy and suddenly he found himself shattered by terrible pain and he was weeping then the same sage angiras came there and sage angiras appeared before the king and he was not alone he brought narada also with him and then this king bowed before them and asked who are you o effulgent beings they just appeared there then uh, then king then the sage angiras said dear chitraketu don't you recognize me i am angiras who blessed you with this child and this is sage narada a bhakta a devotee like you should not suffer that is why i have come brahmanyo bhagavat bhakto navasiditu marhati one who is devoted to sages one who is a bhagavat bhakta should not suffer that is why i have come my dear king now you know what is life you asked for something and i gave you and the result of it you experience now when i first visited you with a fruit actually i came to give you brahma vidya to teach you the knowledge of the self but i found a dosha a defect in you that is the dosha which can come to the listeners in satsang what is that dosha it is anyabhinivesha you have something in your mind some fascination for something then nothing will go inside as long as you have anyabhinivesha this listening will not happen suppose somebody comes here in the middle of the satsang in search of their mother wife or brother who is sitting listening they come and search here there everywhere do you think they will listen it is impossible because their eardrum is completely closed band they are only keeping something in their mind and searching like that the sage said when i came to bless you you had anyabhinivesha you had fascination for something else you were asking only for a child but not this vidya so i blessed you with child but you had no prarabdha to keep it now you know if you put rice in a vessel and cook it when it becomes cooked rice you need not take every rice grain and see whether it is well cooked one rice rice grain is enough to decide that the whole quantity is cooked so to one experience in life is enough to show you that anything can give you pain from this experience you know o king एवं राजन गृहा राय विविध ईश्वर्य संपद शब्दाद विषया छला राज्य विभूत महि राज्य बल कोश वृत् अमात्या सुहृजना सर्वे शूरसेने मे शोक मोह भय आर्ति गंधर्वनगर प्रख्या दे आर् लाइक गंधर्वनगर गंधर्वनगर मीन वन मैजिशियन कम्स एंड मेक्स a picture with his magic wand and something appears in the sky you see heaven here you see devas appearing you see indra everyone vayu agni and suddenly everything disappears 
ಗಂಧರ್ವನಗರ ಪ್ರಖ್ಯಾ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಮಾಯ ಮನೋರಥ ಲೈಕ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಲ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇಮ್ಯಾಜಿನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮೈಂಡ್ ದೃಶ್ಯಮಾನ ವಿನಾರ್ಥನ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೀನ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ಲೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟಫ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಟಫ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿರಶ್ ದೃಶ್ಯಂತೆ ಮನೋಭವ ಸೊ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ನೌ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಡ್ಯುವೆಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಪಿಯರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಾರೋಫುಲ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಮರ್ಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೋ ದ ಆತ್ಮನ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೋ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ ಮೈ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಐ ನೋ ದಟ್ that is why i have brought this sage devarshi narada with me he will give you mantrobadesha then narada said before giving mantrobadesha we have to do something we have to absolutely convince this king and take his mind from that child dead child so you know they are great powerful sages so they called that dead jiva the jiva which passed away from this body they recalled that jiva and said see your father is weeping please enter again into this body that jiva came and it asked my dear sage whose father and who is mother in many births i was father and mother for many in many births i was a child for many i was a wife i was a husband i was many things and in this life somebody was my father i have not even recognized him and now you want me to get into that prison house again somehow by the grace of lord i have escaped that prison very quickly that was the only span which i had to remain in that body now it is over now please do not recall me to enter in that body i will not come saying this that jiva said tata bye bye then chitraketu became really virakta dispassionate then he asked sage narada see these stories you know they are not stories they are medicines for those who are afflicted only they will know the power of these stories those who had that is why vyasa deva is giving so many kind of stories in bhagavatam each story is a medicine one shaivet saint to him when couple went and they had terrible experience their child died in an accident and they could not bear that for so many years so they expressed their sorrow and you know what was the medicine that that saint prescribed he asked one scholar one devotee to read that story which i told in priya puranam where the lord comes and asks for pillai curry that story was read and it was prescribed like a medicine that story otherwise will look terrible to us but for this couple that worked like a medicine and completely healed their sorrow see all these stories which sometimes looks absurd but for someone it will work work like a magic herb so this chitra ketu later on became a gandharva and then ultimately got brahma vidya from sankarshana and became free he was born as vritra and then that janma he realized the truth and got liberated so there that sage angiras comes and tells him that 
my dear chitragedu whatever appears will go that which comes will go because it is asat it has no existence if you want some stable peace you have to hold on to the self only in the atman you will have complete shanti if you want to play you can play if you want to play in the world you are given all freedom see in sankhya they say prakriti and purusha and prakriti you know what she does she gives bhoga abhavarga pradayini first she gives all bhogas to the jiva all pleasures whatever you ask today or tomorrow it will be given to you you may ask i am asking for something which i am not able to get this janma but the future janma somewhere it will be given to you but ultimately you will grow intelligent and will come to know asking is dangerous whatever you ask you will have more trouble from it varan vibho tvad varadeshwarad budha katham vrinite guna vikriyatmana bhagavatam and devotee as lord lord will an intelligent person ask a boon even from you because you are the varadaraja who is standing before me why should i beg a vara from you if you are with me why should i ask any boon from you i don't want any boon so to ask a boon even to even from narayana becomes a trouble bhagavan will give you a boon and you will go with that boon so here no desire will give you completion an intelligent person at a stage recognizes that asking is trouble desiring is trouble after so much austerity buddha said aashahi paramam dukkham in bhagavatam that pingala that courtesan she says aashahi paramam dukkham aashahi paramam dukkham nairashyam paramam sukham if you can give up all the desires i don't want anything here you will become free that is the direct sadhana you need not do atma vichara you need not do any bhakti sadhana you need not do japa you need not do any vichara any shastra patana any yoga sadhana aashaye arumen remove all root out all the desires to desire is to invite trouble so no desires whether good or bad no asking if you have that much intelligence and courage in you you need not do any sadhana because the moment you give up all the desires mind will come to a stop because mind is made of desires only prajahati yada kaman sarvan partha manogatan atmanye vatmana tushta sthita pragnya stato chede he takes delight in his own self if you remove desire the question will come there is no meaning in life but it is not like that you are only stopping desiring you are not stopping living if you have no preference you are not expecting anything whatever comes to you will be joy whatever is given to you you will enjoy it you will live it fully you do because you don't ask anything given to you is a gift you are happy with anything whatever lord gives you take you never ask anything 
that much intelligence gives instantaneous freedom but desire is not something which we are holding desire is holding us in gita bhagwan says kama kami he is not desiring he is desiring desire he is the devotee of desire he is not devotee of lord he goes to guru ayurpa and says guru ayurpa i want marriage of my daughter and when he comes back one jatakam matches and the marriage is fixed guru ayurpa is great because he made marriage of my daughter very quickly so the job of guru ayurpa is to give good husband to your daughter so there you are you are not guru ayurpan's bhakta you are your own desires bhakta and guru ayurpan is just a postman a broker he made you satisfy your desire so you say thank you to guru ayurpan that is all that is why bhagwan said he is an artha bhakta artarthi bhakta he is not a jignasu he wants something from me and bhagwan says to uddhava uddhava you know i am afraid only about one person and you who you know who that is the person the devotee who never asks who never desires who never even prays for kaivalya that devotee i worship in my heart and when he walks i walk behind him so that the dust touched by his feet will touch my body and will purify me this is krishna's words nirapeksham munim shantam nirvairam samadarshanam anuvrajami aham nityam puyeyeti angri renubihi with his pada dhuli i want to purify myself so uddhava that kind of devotee is very rare who never desires asks anything and that kind of desirelessness comes only for a gnani because he finds completion perfection in his self he knows that desire in the mind is only a disease fulfilling the desire will not do any good one devotee went to chidambaram there suddenly in the middle of night nadraja appeared before him he was a great devotee avadhuta so shiva asked him take four boons from me this devotee said lord what trick you are playing with me i have not even a single boon to ask and you are compelling me to ask four boons lord said no no you have to take four boons because parvati has already told me to give you four boons then that devotee said okay now i am doing bhiksha i get bhiksha now some days i will not get so i am asking you one boon that is let me get bhiksha without much trouble every day some salt less kanji will do some kool will do i don't want very delicious food so that is the first boon the second boon is sometimes my kaupina will become torn so whenever a cloth is necessary for me give me a piece of cloth second boon third boon if i lie down in some place let the owners of that place 
let them not drive me out these three things food clothing and shelter is over i have no fourth boon shiva said you have to take the fourth boon okay then this is the boon the fourth boon is i am an ordinary person i might ask something again to you so fourth boon is in future if i ask anything please tell me i will not give you <laughs> i have a mind so i will make the mistake of asking you but you are karuna murti you should be thinking about my hitam not priyam that which is really good for me so he who should tell me i will not give you anything more that is the varam that is the boon that i am praying to you then lord asked him why you are telling this because lord the person who desires and gets the result is sowing seed for future birth from karma the fruit will come and each fruit will sow the seed of avidya and avidya kama karma avidya kama karma avidya kama karma will continue so please give me this boon once you know that everything in the world is asat that which appears and goes is asat even your physical pain mental suffering everything is asat when it comes no arjuna that it will come and go agama paina tidikshaswa for that sake you do not give up the hold of the sat sat po ho pada sat should always remain the sat buddhi should be always effulgent awake inwardly you should be always awake in meditation the lord should be always shining in your heart he is the only thing which is sat which is truth ramakrishna paramahamsa constantly used to repeat god alone is sat everything else is asat and the famous brahmadarnya upanishad mantra asato ma sadgamaya that mantra you pray bhagwan take me from asat to sat tamasoma jyotirgamaya take me from darkness to light mrityoma amritam gamaya take me from death to immortality so here itself you can recognize asat is darkness asat is mrityu sat is light sat is amrutatva deathlessness immortality so from asat you have to come to sat like the tatva darshi and sat means what your own self existence that which is and what is if you have that is with you then you can work in the world somebody asked what is service service means serve with is it also is e a s e is but actually it is i s is if you abide in the is and work in the world never you will lose the balance that irip existence chumma ir be still abide in that pure awareness mere existence just to try every day sit for some minutes at least don't put any effort don't even meditate let thoughts come let anything happen don't voluntarily do anything do not associate with any volition just surrender and sit
let us see what happens is a very powerful sadhana the ultimate practice after doing everything you have to come to it you have to come to that natural silence effortless silence you simply give up everything do not hold on to anything and then slowly you learn the art of that stillness it is not a created stillness that stillness is yourself it is existence when you have to do you do otherwise you abide in that that is what everyone saw in maharshi many sages they saw that silence wherever they are they are in that isness existence when a guru tells be in that isness be still if you have real shraddha shakti that will give you power to remain there no other magic it is the greatest magic in that stillness this sat alone is the asat will be around you if you pay attention it will be there if you pay attention the mind is there the ego is there the body is there the world is there you udasina vadasina तत्रात्मत्व दृढ़ीकुन अहमादिषु सत्यजन उदासीन वदासीन न विचाल्य दीगो विल बी देर मैंड विल बी देर बट यू स्लोली रीसीड बैक टू दट स्टिल प्रिंसिपल विच इज एवर अ फ्लेम इन सैड यू एस आई एम as mere amness not even i am as mere amness if you remove the i from the amness it is no more amness it becomes isness if the i is removed the am becomes is asmi there is no asmi if the i is taken only asti irup and that irup is not your or mine or his it is brahman it is purna vastu it is within everyone each and every person when they say i it is the name of that existence that sad vastu when you pay attention to i you find that the i disappears in that sat because even that i is a sat even that i is unreal it comes and goes i is not real because it disappears in deep sleep when you wake up it comes back so consciously when you trace it back when you scrutinize it investigate it it just disappears into that mere isness existence sat and that sat that existence is god is self is brahman is jnana that is purna vastu if you learn the art of abiding in that existence your learning is over prahlada says viramanti shabdat after knowing that they just retire from all words you give up words you give up thinking 
you give up the thinker also the thought goes thinking goes thinker goes and the substratum the adhisthanam where everything all these things arises and merges that adhisthanam alone is once you recognize that adhisthanam whatever is your swadharma that you have to do but that adhisthanam itself will do that that atma himself will do it atma is ishvara atma himself will you, you will ask if i abide in there how work will go on you just abide and find all great things are done by abiding in that state if you abide there that being that indweller that divine principle will do the work that you are destined to do it will be no more your work it will be his work and there will be no more defect in that work and that is the drishti the vision of an enlightened being and bhagwan says arjuna you also accept this vision and lead an enlightened life you also become a tatvadarshi tvam api tatvadarshi nam drishtim aashritya shokam moham chahitva bhagwan says shokam also you have to give up moham also you have to give up moham is ignorance delusion shokam is sorrow you have to give up and whatever comes in life do not be affected by it abide as the deathless self as atman this is the essence of gita where bhagavan says this abidance in the sat is yoga and man who abides is yogi so tasmat yogi bhava arjuna this is gita's message what does gita say it says tasmat krishna has this habit of repeating this word tasmat certain people you know they will again and again repeat certain words so in gita also you will find krishna constantly tells this tasma because of that so arjuna you become a yogi tasma yogi bhava arjuna yoga yukto bhava arjuna abide in that yoga state so today we are concluding this gita yagna here for all this seven days we have been listening to this divine song before doing offering of this bhagavad gita to bhagavad pada's feet we have to say one thing that this shankara mata which is being blessed by great sages like shankara chandrashekara bharati swami shivabhinav narasimha bharati swami in this sacred place we had the opportunity to speak on bhagavad gita and listen so with our pranams to all those great sages to our bharati tirtha maha swami who is our present sannidhanam everyone we remember here सत्यम ज्ञानमन निमनाकाश परमाकाशम गोष्ठ प्रांगणरिंगणलोलमनायास परमायास कलनाकारमनाकुवनाकार ಶ್ಮಾಥ ಮನಾಥ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ 
ಭಜಗೋವಿಂದಂ ಪರಮಂದ ಮೃತ್ಸ್ನಾಮತ್ಸಿಹೇತಿ ಯಶೋದ ತಾಡನ ಶೈಶವಸಂತ್ರಸ ವ್ಯಾಧಿತವ ತ್ರಾಲೋಕಿತಲೋಕಾಲೋಕಚತುರ್ದಶಲೋಕಾ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯಪುರಮೂಲಸ್ತಂಭಂ ಲೋಕಾಲೋಕಮನಾಲೋಕ ಲೋಕೇಶ ಪರಮೇಶ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ತ್ರೈವಿಷ್ಟಪರಿಪುವೀರಘ್ನ ಕ್ಷಿತಿಭಾರಘ್ನ ಭವರೋಗಘ್ನ ಕೈವಲ್ಯ ನವನೀತಾಹಾರಮನಾಹಾರ ಭುವನಾಹಾರ ವೈಮಲ್ಯಸ್ಫುಟಚೇತೋ ವೃತ್ತಿಶೇಷಾಭಾಸಮನಾಭಾಸ ಶೈವ ಕೇವಲ ಶಾಂತ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಯೋ ಮಾತ್ಮ ಭವಸಿ ತ್ವೇವ ತೋ ನ ವಾಚ್ಯಂ ಮಮ ಕಿಂಚಿದಸ್ತಿ ಯಥಾ ತವೇಷ್ಟ ಕುರು ಮಾಂ ತಥೈವ ತ್ವಾಂ ಆತ್ಮನಾಥಂ ಭ್ರಮಣ ಭಜ ಅನ್ನಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಸದಾಪೂರ್ಣೆ ಶಂಕರ ಪ್ರಾಣವಲ್ಲಭೆ ಜ್ಞಾನವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧ್ಯರ್ಥ ಭಿಕ್ಷಾ ದೇಹಿ ಚ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ಮಾತಾ ಚ ಪಾರ್ವತೀ ದೇವೀ ಪಿತಾ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಬಾಂಧವ ಶಿವಭಕ್ತ ಸ್ವದೇಶೋ ಭುವನತ್ರಯ ಹರ ನಮಃ ಪಾರ್ವತೀ ಪತೇ ಹರ ಮಹಾದೇವ